this anointing upon this man must be restored to save the generation. This was born like Samuel, like Samuel in the family. With this grace must not die in Jesus' name. Receive this grace. My name is Livingstone Musoro. Um, yes, I was born and grew up in Zimbabwe, so I'm a Zimbabwean, but uh, currently I'm living in the UK. Yes, um, I first came across the ministry from, uh, from YouTube, yes, and uh, I've been watching the ministry, I've been watching Apostle, and I've seen how the prophets have uh, come into the ministry. Yes, um, the reason why I came over, yeah, I think, uh, I believe and I feel that uh, God brought me here very aware and with the things that uh, the man of God was saying, is the things that I have uh, struggled with for a long time, which then, um, at one point, yeah, I was just saying to myself, I think uh, God seemed to be speaking to me that I need uh, further help, you know, from my place of worship where I have been going for a long time, yeah. And uh, yes, number one, you know, there is um, issues with, uh, with marriages. So was that spirit has been attacking me, but it's not only me, but uh, other members of my family. So even though I had not explained this bit to the man of God, he just started, you know, explaining that. And it is, it is, it is, it is a big problem because every one of my brothers, my sisters, uh, we have had uh, this problem where we all married, we got divorced. Um, so, yes, I, yeah, I, I, I looked at that and, yeah, uh, I believe that God was speaking to me and I believe it's God who sent me here. So I came over and uh, I planned to come over here when I was still in the UK and to give myself enough time with uh, with the men of God. I have watched on YouTube uh, some of the things that I have seen him dealing with from other people. I believe that it's the same things that uh, I am facing. So that's why I came. That's why I came. Um, I was actually amazed because though I kind of like heralded back, I didn't kind of like... Uh, opened quite a lot there but uh, the first thing he said was but uh, my heart being you know getting low yes even right now as I'm standing here there are things that I didn't <laughs> explain to him but which I know what he was saying because I know there's something that was done to my heart um, Yes, yeah, so I was, I was, I was, I was really amazed there because that's the first thing he mentioned, and I knew what he was saying. And but then I picked something from what the man of God was doing that this spirit finds me. So often, then it manifests through people who then you know do things that they do, and then I put so much concentration into that, which then you know I think. The, it may stand in the way of the of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, like he was saying that you know, it just comes a time it just feels low, feels low. So I feel kind of like feel weak. Yes, yeah, kind of like just feel weak, but also at times you know feel like discouraged. Yeah, feel like uh, discouraged and feel weak. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, it's it's amazing because you know um, 
when I came over here, I used Ethiopian Airways a Airlines. So I go to Zimbabwe first. And uh, then I had planned the journey that I would come here as in route back to the UK. But then with the Ethiopian Airlines, uh, to, 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 to fly from, from Harare to Jobek, you have to go first to Addis and come back. <laughs> so uh, when I was coming here, I flew to Addis uh, coming here. And then... When I flew to Addis, yeah, I think, yeah, when I was coming from Addis, coming here, suddenly I just felt my back. I uh, just felt pain, so much pain, even when I got here. But, you know, because I pray for others at times, so I don't pay attention uh, often to that. But I knew that my back wasn't well. I was, I, was, I, was, I was so much in pain, but I didn't pay much attention to it. So even when I sat there, uh, when I sat there talking to uh, 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 the man of God, I didn't remember that. Yes, but when I was sitting there, yes, I was feeling the pain. And uh, when I said that, said with him, I didn't, I didn't remember it, and I didn't say anything about that. So when he prayed for me, and when I went back, and I was just amazed to realize that the pain completely had gone, has gone, and uh, even right now. So I know that's the anointing, you know. Yes, and uh, after he prayed for me, yeah. Uh, because for him, he was so much on on this spirit, yeah, the spirit that is fighting our marriages, is the spirit that just fights uh, so many things, including you know finances and all that. So yeah, uh, when he prayed for me, I was standing there, and uh, before I knew it, yes, I found myself uh, under the power of the Holy Spirit and falling down. Yeah, words of encouragement, yeah. Uh, there are out there many people who suffer, you know, and at times not knowing what they're suffering from. But uh, it's good to pray and listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying. I, I, I believe for me, uh, I did, I pray all the time and I was praying about it and I became to be aware that these things I need help, you know. And uh, yeah, look around and see, you know, the Holy Spirit will always lead us to where we can find help. Where do I go? My brother. I have two brothers. They are both in Zimbabwe. They live there? Yes. Mm. So now what happened to the properties of your father? Of my father. Mm. Uh, there, 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 there. Yeah, they're there, but it's not the only people you can fight because of these issues of your father. To be honest, I think it's, all, it's the similar thing that I was telling you. When you see, you're sitting there, mm -hmm. you know, when we talk about the issue of the witch doctors, mm -hmm. there's no family that doesn't have a person that has to be bring problems. Mm -hmm. You know, even you now, remember you married into a family of witch doctors where they used to take you there you know, do they used to do all those things yes so now in your family it's also the same thing there are people that used to do that mm. and they have to attack you people because why are you people succeeding mm. and their children are not succeeding you understand it's more like a spirit of competition mm. and i believe there's no family that doesn't have that problem so it's not something that needs to be worried. If there have been issues before your father uh, died, there will still be issues even now, as long as you're still alive. Yeah. There's still one fight you. Well, it's by, it's, by, it's by grace that I'm still alive. Yeah, it has to be that way. Because how do you go to Europe man, and you start to succeed? You understand? Mm -hmm. Remember, no one had anything in the family. Mm -hmm. As though when you say the issues of your father, I say, I zip the property. But your father was also a poor man. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So, so now, the property is that we yeah. could find. It was just a small thing. Yeah. You know, that was the like the issue of the land. Mm. You know, that was, uh, when I say property, I was also speaking about that. Mm. The issue of that small farm. Yes. You know about the small farm. Yeah. The small farm. So that's the property that I was talking about. 
Yeah, then maybe you are fighting for that. But there's no, it's not, there's no need for you people to be fighting over such a small land. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So now, the issue of your attacks, they have to attack you. How do you become successful? That's the reason why your marriage is this. You, you had attacks on both sides of the families. Yeah. That side and your side. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Trust God that God will help you. And God will honor you. Mm -hmm. All these attacks that they are being sent to you, God will reverse everything. You still have more life. Remember the accident issue. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Remember the accident issue. Yes. You're supposed to be there in that accident. Yeah. You understand? Yes. What happened? Yeah, I know. When I came from Cape Town after the accident. You went to Cape here to Zimbabwe? Yeah, I went to Zimbabwe. When you, that's when you got accident there? Yes. Can I, you hear that? I, I took a, I hired a car to use. So you, you got accident with the hired car? Yes. Ah. And I had to buy a new one. Jesus. Jesus. So did, did you pay them back? I bought a new car from Japan and sent it to Zimbabwe when I was in there to replace the one that from the company? Um, it wasn't a company, it was someone my oh, sister knew. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you took the car from someone? Someone my sister knew. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. And you had an accident with it and you had to buy it? It was the day I was going back. Mm. I was to UK? To UK. So, because I was in a... Can you see they wanted to kill you the day you were leaving? Yes. <laughs> mm. and, and, and that is, that was... Now that I I, 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 I I don't know now that it was from my father's side or from where I was married. You, you, you've got attacks from both. You know, it's, it's as good as you grew up in a family that has got spirit of jealousy, that you jealous each other. Yeah, and from so there you go and marry in also a, a dysfunctional family also. Yeah. You, you'll have problems on both sides. Yes. There's no way. So, let me pray for you. Jesus. Out! So your body itchy. Does it become itchy? The times. Mm. something for money. Who did the ritual of money? I'm not so sure. It's, it, I always suspected two people. But uh, I, my, my father's young brother, I guess he's the one who has been doing all sorts of things. Yeah, no? Yeah, because um, we are, we are, we are, you know what is happening? Uh, oh. This one ought to be better than this one. This one ought to be better than this one. This one? God, yeah, there's a problem. So today, much. today I believe that even if all your issues are going to take it. Bring all, the, all your issues are over. This man is going to run off things. Bring. Thank you. 
Jesus, don't out. Don't don't the name of Jesus. Thank you for delivering this man. 